up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm just going to show you guys how i stay organized with all my families that i help out what i use to stay organized and why i use it so again these are just things that i've always incorporated into my routine into my in-home appointments um, i'm always open to doing things differently if, if you guys have a different way of doing things you know definitely let me know in the comments down below i'm always open to learning new habits and new techniques um, I wanted to just share all of my stuff that I've been doing for the past year and hopefully that it gives you guys some insight and hopefully if you like it, you, you can apply it to your business as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so whenever you go into an appointment, I'm assuming that you're going to take your laptop or tablet with you as well. Um, I also carry a binder which is full of the materials that I take every single time that I go into an appointment. In the front it has my license and then inside it has you know the different materials that I'm going to need. Uh, to do my appointment which i can make a separate video on if you guys would like me to um now how i stay organized is whenever i'm sitting down doing the appointment i take out this sheet of paper and put it right next to me whenever i am doing the application with them so this paper as you can see is very very bland nothing fancy nothing crazy why because this stays with me this is for my benefit not the clients so I put down all this information that I'm going to be filling out as I'm doing the application with them. Alright, so as you can see guys, it's going to ask for your basic information. So once you go ahead and do that, you fill out their basic info, which is their name, date of birth, social, email, phone number. The most important information that you want to write down um, for yourself is going to be the carrier that you went ahead and placed your client on the product that you place your client on, the death benefit that you are applying for, their monthly premium, the effective date of their insurance policy, meaning the, the date that their first premium goes out, and their policy number. And then of course you have any additional notes that you can write down in regards to your client. Maybe they want to see you in 10 days to add, a, to add a beneficiary, or they want to up their death benefit in the next 30 days. So you want to note that down to go back to them. So again, this is all going to be beneficial for you because whenever you have to call a carrier and you have to go into your client's insurance policy to do any changes or just any, you want to check up on their policy for XYZ reasons, they're going to ask for your client's name um, and the policy number, and sometimes they'll even ask for their date of birth. So this is not only beneficial whenever you call a carrier and you have inquiries for your client's uh, policy, but again, this is so beneficial to you because I use it to look back at whenever I have to do checkups on my clients. I do month checkup, six month checkup, and of course your annual review with them. Of course, you don't have to be pen and paper with this. Um, you can obviously bring this back home and then put it into an Excel worksheet. That way you don't have millions of these papers lying around in a filing cabinet. Excel is our best friend here. So yeah, guys, this is literally it. This is how I keep track of all my clients. I just created something so simple for myself, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. And then I go ahead and transfer all this information into an Excel worksheet. But all right, guys, let me know what you think. And I will see you tomorrow on the next video. Bye.